Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. This is a love connection message for you Pisces. I hope you're okay. I hope you're fine. The reading for today Pisces is the next 24 hours love connection, love advice for you. I hope you are doing great, okay? Before I start guys, I really want to thank you for your awesome support, your like, and your subscribe. Thank you for my subscribers. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in again. For guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button and the bell, please click it now. Please click subscribe. Please click the bell if you're interested and if you are keen, all right? And as usual, guys, if you would like to support me further, check the description box below because you'd see the details of my Instagram account. Follow me there if you're interested. Check out my website and my blog. And also check out my Etsy store if you would like to avail of... Um, the services that I offer outside of this platform, okay? This is for you, Pisces. What is the message for you over the next 24 hours in your love connection advice, okay? Here you go. So in today's reading, I'm going to be looking at your overall energy, your person's overall energy, okay? The blockages, the feelings, the mutual energy between the two of you, the predictive action and advice okay so let us start your reading Pisces okay there's a lot of good cards in here which is nice okay so um your person's overall sorry this is your your energy so your overall energy Pisces is that the three of cups okay you could be dealing with a threesome <laughs> a third party or multiple dating or you are possibly in the bloom, okay? Because there's three faces in here. They're all beautiful, okay? You, uh, It's possible that you have multiple people around you. You're dealing with multiple people or multiple situation. Or you want to see your person, okay? If you are not in a third party situation, then you could be... You could just be in demand. You're dating this person, this person, and this person. And I felt like all of their faces, is oh, it's kind of overwhelming. Look at how beautiful they are. It's, it's like someone is looking and admiring you, okay? Or you're looking into someone and admiring someone, okay? And um, normally the Three of Cups is about rejoice. It's about dating. It's about celebration. It's about meeting face to face, okay? So over the next 24 hours, you could be having a choice to meet someone or to see someone or you want to see someone. You want to meet up, okay, for some of you. Let, let's get more details, okay, because this is very broad. I get a very broad um, energy in the Three of Cups under your um card okay this is this because this is your position your person's overall energy is the hermit card or the virgo card um they're quiet they're thinking and um i felt like if you have a breakup okay if if you have a breakup a separation a disconnection whatever is going go whatever you and your person is doing is completely opposite okay if you have a breakup or separation or disconnection, the way you deal with it, Pisces, is that to drink, to eat, and then to date, to forget someone is you are out there and about, out there and about, chatting, chit-chatting, you know, you're keeping yourself busy with people. Your person is quiet. They're alone. They're thinking. Let's get more details, okay? So in the blockages and in the mutual energy position, you've got the hangman in reversed and then the knight of swords in um, upright position. So it's time to talk, okay? Connecting these two cards in here, Pisces, you are avoiding your person or they're avoiding you. You want to talk to your person, they're avoiding you, but... Connecting these four cards and its energy, it's telling me that one of you is avoiding each other and one of you is dealing with pain or struggle or disconnection or disappointment in a very different way. One of you is celebrating to forget the other person or dating to celebrate the other person. The other person is just quiet. This is the energy of your person, the hermit card and the king of swords. So your person's energy is all about in their head, okay? 
So your person is feeling the pain, dealing with the pain. By being alone, they will get into a decision making. While, while in your energy, in here, Pisces, you are three of cups. You could be, um, you could not be really facing the problem. You could be avoiding the problem. You could be wanting to talk to them, but you don't want to speak about the problem. You could have done something and to, to change the topic or the, to change the subject, if it was your fault, you want to, you want to date, but you don't want to talk about something. Someone or something is avoiding some. You are avoiding or they're avoiding a specific subject in here. This four cards in here, it's telling me that there is an avoiding energy. You could still be in communication, but you're avoiding to talk about this specific topic, subject. If you are not in communication or there is a distance or there is... A switch off of energy and aloof energy between the two of you you both are avoiding to talk about the issue okay because i feel because really, i really feel like you don't want to let go and so they are excuse me you don't want to let go and so they are but you don't want to talk you don't want to talk of that issue it's more of i'm not ready it's better this way that we don't talk or there's a less talk because i'm not prepared to talk about that but energetically, telepathically, however, whatever, you know, how it's, it's more of to describe it, you're still connected. If you aren't talking, there's still an energy back and forth, telepathically between the two of you. Nobody wants to let go, but nobody wants to move and to talk about stuff. Although your person is about to make a decision making because they are the hermit, you know, the hermit card. Let me just put this up. If I compare your energy versus them, your person is about to make a decision making and it's something favorable between the two of you. You are avoiding it or you're not prepared to, to talk about something. You're scared. You're scared about rejection or you keep changing your mind too. But you know, at some point you've got to talk. Okay. There's a, there's a situation here. I really feel like between Tuesday, Wednesday, and for some of you Sunday, there is a there's gonna be a talk happening in here um your mutual energy okay you got the two of wands yep you got a plan your person is hopeful and uh, they have faith so maybe you haven't spoken with each other for quite some time now and you are to to forget your person you are catching up with friends you you're doing something to distract yourself to this person your person they're not interested to mingle with other people. They are processing it on their own. That's why your person is now in the king of swords element. King of swords, I know what I want. I'm flexible. I know what I want. So let's talk. You are about to face them. Because your person is in the thought process. Okay, your person, they're... If there is an action-oriented energy in here, it's more of you because you have a two of wands. You're kind of in an energy of, okay, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to relax. I'm thinking of you, but it's not yet time. I'll catch up with friends or probably try to text other people or to chat with other people, but it's still you. It's still you. I'm thinking. I'm just doing this to get my mind out of you. You're doing something to avoid to think of them or to talk to them or a specific subject. But you know, at some point, you've got to release that attitude. You've got to release that avoiding energy and then face them again, two of ones. So you, there's something in your energy that you'll take an action, okay? Or you will reply or you will respond. You're due to respond or reply or you will take an action for something that, I don't know, you need to face and uh, you need to let go of your fear and finally face something, okay? Your person is that, their their energy is different they are they've been quiet they've been really processing it in their head and they realize that using the logic will give you and them um the hope the fate and things will be okay they realize that it's not so complicated they process something okay they use their mind over their head when they use their mind over their head they realize that you and them, it could still work. It could be saved. So it gives them this star card, a gleam of hope, okay? So expect 
this person to call you or text you or vice versa because eight of wands this is the predictive um this is the predictive outcome and advice they will be focused on you if you call them if you text them you will have their full attention and you will get something some sort of finality some sort of solid decision making okay and your energy in here is two of cups so there's definitely some sort of reunion okay because you've got a three of cups your person is waiting there's some sort of reunion there's some sort of reunion or incoming talk or there's a preparation and it's gonna be ready soon okay i'm hearing the word there's a reunion it's gonna be ready soon and um, i'll see you around something like that okay so be prepared okay i would really um, suggest that if you pick up the phone or if you answer or, or if you call or if you reply i would really um, suggest to come it from the heart okay because your person is okay your person will accept that your your person will vindicate you will forgive you and vice versa they're okay i'm really getting that whatever happens from now onwards up until next week it's gonna be okay all right if it's not going to go to worse, it's going to get better. That's what I get from your reading. Because there's two of cups and eight of wands. All right? So, yeah, take it easy and be optimistic. Because your person, they're not going to cut you. They're not going to hurt you. They're probably quiet. They're probably aloof. Hermit card. But they already have, you know, they quietly made the decision. And the decision is going to be in your favor and in their favor. In short. They're still hopeful that you and them will survive this challenge. And after this thinking, they've got an eight of wands. So they'll shoot, you know. There's still, a lot of, there's still a lot of energy and interest. Look at this. It's like a matchstick. So when you and this person see each other again or touch face again, it will ignite. So there's some sort of realization that's coming from your person. And you, on the other hand, you know, you can't deny it. This is still your person that you want. You want to have a mutual agreement. You want to restore the two of cups moment or that love or connection you have with each other. And I think you will. Okay. So take it easy. And um, when you talk again, be very, let, let make sure it comes from the heart. Okay. It's, it's been a while, but I, I really feel like that time of no talking or slow um, energy between the two of you, it gives you time to, it gives both of you the time to reset. There's fresh energy in here. That's what I'm getting, okay? So good luck and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope to see you soon again, 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 <laughs> again, again. And have a great day. Bye-bye.